If you're still one of the teams that's manually sending LinkedIn requests, going on LinkedIn profiles, sending messages, you really don't need to be because you can automate it pretty easily. Now, why would you want to automate LinkedIn steps along with your emails? Well, campaigns like this one, which have email steps and LinkedIn are called multi-channel and multi-channel campaigns are around 35 to 40% more effective at generating replies. So just by the act of having a LinkedIn step increases the probability that you get more replies. And if you do it well, instead of 5% reply rate from an average campaign, maybe you can really start to get 15% plus reply rate. And of course, that means more positive replies. LinkedIn's very good at creating a genuine connection with people because it's a much more personal platform. When it's combined with emails, it's very effective. All you need to do is come along here and it's very, very simple to do. And I'll talk about limits in a moment. You click the plus, you choose the type of LinkedIn action you would like to include. So here we have the options, LinkedIn automatically visit someone's profile from your account, automatically send a LinkedIn invite or a connection request and automatically send a message via LinkedIn. All you do, we have to choose one. So let's say we want to start to automate our connections all you need to do is come here, choose the LinkedIn profile, which is connected to your account. There you go. That's the one. So force a specific sender. And then when you click on at lempire.co because that's the one that LinkedIn is associated with. There you go, all good. What that means is it will send my email campaign. And then after this is done, it will get to this step. One day later, it will send an automated connection request and I can write a message if I want. Hi, hope you got my emails. Let's connect. Smiley face. Oh, you wouldn't send a message like that. You'd send a much better one, but you understand here, this is something that you can include in your outbound campaign. It makes it far more likely that you're going to receive a reply. Now, actually, LinkedIn messages that don't have any message written with them are more likely to get accepted. So just leaving it blank, unless you have something really personalized to say, is a good option. Remember as well that you can add it in any stage of your campaign. Here we can add, let's choose a different example, a LinkedIn profile visit. Again, make sure that you connect up because we're using multi-sender here. The first email will send. One day later, you will automatically visit that leads profile. So let's say I'm prospecting Guillaume Mubesh, CEO of Lempire or Lemlist. I will send him an email and then automatically one day later, I will visit his profile because Lemlist will automate that for me. So you don't have to do it manually anymore. And it means it's much more effective in your campaign. Your campaigns get more replies. You get more meetings. You get more opportunities. Everyone's happy and so on and so on. Now, there's one more thing you can do. Let's click here. You can send a LinkedIn message. So all you have to do is again, connect it up. And then you write your message. So here you can have custom variables. You can have high first name, just like an email. You can write a mini email. Hi, first name. Wondered if you're interested in automating LinkedIn actions. Then you can go from there, whatever you would like to add. You can add your Lemcal link if you would like. You can add any of the different links that you have. Let's add simply the best. So that could be an amazing one. Hi, wanted to invite you on my sales podcast live podcast here's the booking link if you're down question mark and then you add the same link i just added click and there you go you've added your linkedin message of course you can use ai to fix the grammar you can have an alternate message for first degree connections and non-first degree connections so this one for example if i'm connected with someone they'll receive this message if i'm not connected with them you might want to change it up slightly and say something like hi i know we have never met, but I was speaking to Beck Holland and she suggested I invite you on my sales podcast. Here's the booking link and there you go. It's there and it's within the limits. And we just got a message as well, because when we go over a particular character limit, Lemlist warns you and says, don't go over the character limits, it will get blocked. There you go. So that's how you can do it. It even takes care of that side of things. What does it look like in terms of the review and launch section? Here you go. Look, I've got my emails. I've got everything ready to go. Right, let me just quickly go and verify those emails. There you go. Much better. And now you know that your emails are going to get sent because they're all deliverable. You've got this step here. And between this day, the first step, one day later, you will visit someone's LinkedIn profile. Three days later, they'll receive the second email. Now here what we're doing, we're making ourselves seem more human. We're making ourselves seem more real. There's not a lot of tools out there that are able to do this at scale. There's not a lot of tools that allow you to do this safely. So what Lemlist does is it allows you to do those multi-channel campaigns, multiple touch points where someone might be active. I'm very active on LinkedIn. I'm not very active on email. So if you try and email me, it's unlikely to work. If you try and LinkedIn, it's more likely if you do both, you have that combined effort of improving the probability that I'm going to reply. Now, especially what you can do here with the message, this is the message that we've 
got for everyone. So if we go here and we go here again, look, we can see that everything's just the same. But if you wanted to, again, you can come in the review section, you can edit what you have here, you can take this out, you can write something different and you can personalize at scale again, making it much more effective and more likely each person replies. Once you're done, of course, you click review and it will automate the email and it will automate the LinkedIn steps for you so you don't have to do it. Now, the first thing you might be thinking of is, well, if I automate and do too much, I might get banned or shadow banned on LinkedIn. I might have my account removed. Well, it doesn't really happen like that because LinkedIn doesn't know the difference between an automated action and a manual action. That's why you've probably seen yourself. If you send too many uh, requests, for example, in one day, it will come up with a message on LinkedIn. Oh, you've sent too many. You can't do another invite for X amount of time. In order to make sure that you stay safe when you are doing it automatically and when you are automating with Lemlist, you just come here. It's built in and you make sure that you set within settings the maximum number of LinkedIn messages, invites, whatever it is, within 24 hours. And as soon as you click more than a safe number, Lemlist will tell you to stay within the safe zone. Now, that's what I do. I never go into this safe zone. I always keep it on this. And over time, five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week, all those numbers add up. You do not need to do more than 30 per day. You can actually have a very effective campaign just by having this number. So there you go. That will stop you getting shadow banned so you don't need to worry about that. If you'd like to automate LinkedIn steps because you're still manually doing it, all you need to do is click the link in the description below. You can try it out for yourself and you'll never have to send another manual LinkedIn connection request. Plus you get the bonus of actually getting more replies in your multi-channel campaign. There you go. That's how you do it with Lemlist.